This series is all about tackling one question. Can I take the number one spot on Catan Universe? We start at rank 900 and will battle against fellow Grandmasters in the race for the crown. Dedicating my time to dethroning my buddies K20 and Young Nyjah. This is the road to rank number one. Okay, so far in this series I have played 6 games, I've won 4 of them, I've gone 2nd place once and 4th place once as well. My elo before this game started is 1241. Red is placing first and I think the best spot on this map is the 8510. You get strong ore, strong wheat and a wheat board and with a lot of wheat on this board you can make that really uh, useful and I think this is the right pick. Second pick is for Peak Dark playing as orange and he is going with the 8103 using strong ore, a little bit of wheat and a little bit of wood. Especially the brick is really important on this map because there is a lot of wood on the board but there is only a 5, an 11 and a 12 for brick. So I really agree with this 5-9-10, this really goes well together with the 6-4-3 or the 6-5-11, especially the 6-5-11 is completely busted if Blue is able to get that, so I have to make sure I can get the 6-5-11 uh, to go with something of my strategy, or I could maybe block it out by placing on the 5-4-11. So I have to work with that, and I think the 5-4-11 goes really well with the 6-9-10, that way I can get double ore, double sheep and a wheat, and perhaps I could get on a wheat board. I'm actually hovering over the 6912. A little bit less wood production, but because brick is so rare, this might be the better pick. Uh, I don't see anyone placing on a 910 specifically. Uh, I think blue is just going to go 643 here. Indeed, the other two players already have wheat and wood and no the mod for a sheep board, so it doesn't really make sense to go there. Yeah, 492 for orange, giving them double wheat, double sheep, and a really good ore spot if they s double up on the 8 ore a really nice balance in their resource game. Red makes an interesting decision to double up on the on the wood, wheat and ore, but with the wheat board that might be a really good spot. So that means that the sheep board is not tested as much as... Uh, so that's very good for me. I think I have a really good setup, uh, perhaps the best setup on the map. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of sheep, I'm trying to get a wood here. Red is able to trade with me, so that's pretty good. They don't produce sheep, so it's helpful for them as well and we roll a 10 so they get their wood back we roll an 8 uh, we started with a bunch of 8s uh, at this game red uh, yellow was able to pick up a lot of a lot of cards as well gets a development card now it is up to blue blue is not on the 8 and is trying to get we all know there's no brick in the game and another 8 so orange might be holding a city right now red has a lot of wheat so let's see what he is able to do he's rolling a 6 uh, they don't have brick they do have a lot of wood, one sheep, uh, no ore I believe, well maybe one ore from the starting, getting a brick, getting a road down to the wheat board, which is of course the right thing to do, and a strong city for orange, with a development card in hand and a city up, uh, orange is the clear leader here, blue rolls a 7, so you might be able to punish him for sitting up. Let's see what he, she does. Yeah, this is the, the right block for sure. Uh, otherwise, Orange could really run away from this game really early if he doesn't get blocked here. I roll a 12, so a huge roll for me. Trying to give two cards for that one wood. Let's see if Red is interested. So far, nobody seems interested. I'm even, even offering three cards for one wood. But no deal, as I would have been able to settle on the sheep board with that. I think it's a, it's, it's a good call for the other players. Red already has sheep and wheat, doesn't need it. The wood is more interesting. And here's the knight by orange, putting it on blue. And this is a key moment in the game, because blue gets blocked here twice. So this is basically a little bit of a revenge robbery, because blue solo blocked orange. And now he solo blocks her twice as well. Uh, this is a key moment in the game you might see later on. So I'm offering this 2 for 1 deal again, let's see if somebody wants to take it right now. Okay, we have a deal with red, I don't know why they take it now, but I get a settlement and I'm happy with that and we roll a 9, giving me 2 wheat and 1 wheat to all the other players as well. Red doesn't do anything and we roll the 8, so giving 2 ore to... So he's offering wheat, we know he has wheat, he has 2 ore, the 4 hasn't rolled in a while I believe. Maybe he can get a development card, but I'm not quite sure about that. So let's see, yeah, there is a development card indeed. And we roll another 8. So orange is really scorching right now. And red has a ton of wheat, but can't really do much with it. And there's a 2 as well. So let's see if I'm able to get an ore. No, I'm not going to try. Trading with orange is really risky right now. So 
here's a settlement for red, okay, getting on the wheat board and getting a development card that creates a good turn. We roll a nine again, so there's a ton of wheat in this game right now, and that's that's pretty interesting, especially considering here's a mono coming. Wow! So picks up 15 wheat with this mono and builds a city, builds a road, and oh, that's interesting. Goes to the five two. In this case, I would have gone to the three one port because uh, you gain more ore and more flexibility. This five two does give you a little bit of brick, but it's not that relevant. Luke puts it on an eight ore again, and I roll a seven. So that's unfortunate because I wanted it to stay on the 8 ore. Uh, so now I have to select something else. I think the 5 is the second best spot. That's where I'm going with it. Let's see what we can do here. And here's the first ore for me on red. Because this is a, the 5 and the 11 didn't roll so well so far. I roll a 7, put it back on 8, get a development card, get another development card, pick up a victory point and a knight. So I'm trying to get the largest army for sure. I have ore, wheat and sheep. So makes sense for me to go for the Largest army opposed to the longest route and with this six we're getting a little bit closer There's a lot of wood for what I'm trying to do right now is that I recognize that blue is not going to win this game So I want to have a good relationship with blue coming trade So I I'm willing to give her a little bit more than she needs in order to get something back because trading with her is basically trading with the bank and bank if i can make a two for one trade with the bank i'd be happy to do that regardless so here's a seven and red gets a city and red is in a pretty strong position as well not as strong as orange but he's getting there and especially if this eight keep crawling like it does so here's the knight back to orange we roll another six also nine so again in this game there's a ton of weed and he also has a development card is this also going to be a monopoly it would be really good for him if he has a mono so i'm <laughs> warning uh my opponents like watch out for this mono if he monos here this might be game didn't turn out to be a mono orange gets another development card we roll an 11 so now i have a city in my hand if i two for one and four for one uh, i accept this deal willing to invest in the relationship with blue and we roll a five. So now I can just two for one for the city, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, I could also have four for one the wheat, but I, I can't guarantee that nine will roll and I only have one wheat number and two sheep numbers. So I think this is better. And let's see what orange is going to do with this. So the next move would indeed be going to the eight four. I think this is a very strong move and we roll on the 11. We need a city and here's a seven and steals from red. Up nine city up still in a decent position for the army contest but i should maybe make some moves on that as well because just this one night is a uh, little worse than oranges well <laughs> i need to get army to win this if orange gets the army then there's no way i catch up i get a development card it turns out to be a knight let's see what red does with his knight and places it on the five and steal from blue wow this is a little bit of karma sevening out this way. But this, again, is a key move. Uh, not investing in the relationship with the dead player. Instead, stealing from them to be able to get the weed for the city. But again, this is going to hurt them in the long run. Or at least that's my experience. Rubber is placed on the five or again, so I'll have to come out and place some knights here. Which is definitely the right, uh, right thing for orange to do. Like force your opponents to play their development cards. I, I could be sitting here with three victory points for all they know. So you definitely want to see what they have in their hand, not be scared of development cards and, and just see what they have. Like half of the time they don't have a knight anyways because there's 25 cards and 14 of them are knights. So, so I accepted this deal because again, investing in a relationship, I don't need the wood, but three wheat, I don't need that really either. They steal a wood from orange and I get an ore because I have a ton of wheat in my hand. I don't want to risk that getting monopolied and we roll another nine. So the reason I get ore is because ore is in general the most efficient resource to have and especially with so much wheat in my hand if I roll a 511 I could get a city. If I roll a six or a four I can get a development card. So it gives me a lot of flexibility and a lot of power. So let's see what red is going to come up with. He has a couple of options so he's trying to get weed so he could go anywhere with this. I don't think a city on the eight weed is very very good. Okay, he gets a brick. 12 cards for... Okay, this is a settlement. Not getting a development card. Yes, there is also a development card. So, Orange could go to 8 points here. And, ooh, we 7 out. So, Blue puts it on a 9 here. So, they hurt both Orange and Red and themselves. But not me. So, I personally like to think it's 
because I've invested in this relationship a little bit. So the wheat offer, but no deal. I don't need to use a knight. I'm not blocked. I'm not going to do offensive knights when I don't have to. When I'm not blocked, I'm not going to play a knight. Unless I absolutely have to. I'm not interested in the wood from red. I'd rather keep this sheep with either a 6 or a 4 roll. I could 2 for 1 for the ore for his uh, development card. And this is a road building. Oh wow. So red indicates going for longest road. And that's actually pretty good because the longest road is up for the grabs. Nobody is contesting for it. Blue takes the army here and this time puts it on the 5 and I can put it on the 8 wheat. The 6 rolls indeed. I can get 2 development cards. Let's see. The first one is a knight. So give me 4 knights in total. So let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm trying to get another one. And a monopoly. Oh wow. <laughs> that is probably very useful. So here's an 8 rolling. So we, uh, red doesn't get cards but Orange now has 3 ore in his hand. And he rolls a 7 as well. Orange development cards in my hand, I'm probably pretty scary, yeah. Orange agrees, puts it on a 9, and we rolled a 10. And wheat and wood in the game. Let's see what blue is going to do. Blue should be trying to get more development cards to hold on to it, but I think it's <laughs> like holding a uh, army against me is a lost cause, because I have so many development cards. And indeed, I put it on an 8, and we roll an 11, big roll. Red probably agrees with that. Puts down a row, doesn't connect yet. But that's just a matter of time, I believe. Two rolling. Death card. Another death card. Orange is contesting me very well for this uh, for this position. So let's see what I'm able to do. I'm going to place a knight, of course. And steal from red. So I don't have the development card in my hand yet. Okay, so nobody is offering weed. I'm going to offer a two for one now. Like sweetening the deal a little bit. I'm actually going to offer the three for one here. Nobody accepts yet. Okay, blue accepts. So, 3 for 1, and I get a development card. Oh, and this is not a knight, but it's a victory point. So, that's pretty interesting. So, uh, now I'm at 9 points and I have a monopoly in hand. So, with the 3 ore in my hand, I only need to get 2 wheat or 4 sheep in order to win this game. And red connects his road and goes to 9 as well. Let's see what orange decides to do. If he doesn't have a knight, I have a couple of turns, but if he does have... Knights, he might be able to take the army from me. Okay, so he does with the knight. Let's see who he decides to steal from. Okay, decides to steal from me. I think this is the right call. A uh, city, so orange could be on eight points as well. Could actually be on nine now with the other card. And there's a four. So I still like one card, but with the monopoly, that should be enough. Blue is going to put down two rows and a settlement, going to four points. So what is going to happen? The nine rolls, and that is game because I can. 4 for 2 for a city, that's GG.